Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Vivian, and in today's reading vlog, we're just gonna be doing a chill and cozy little reading week. I recently came out of a reading slump, so I, even though really want to do specific reading vlogs, I decided that I would not do that yet. I do not want to fall into another reading slump. It was a really, really hard month of not being able to read a lot of books and not really liking a lot of the books that I'm reading. I decided that I wanted to just do something a little bit more calm and chill this week. What I'm thinking is that I wanted to tackle some of my physical TBR as well as books that are on my January TBR because currently I've only read one book out of my January TBR. Now I finally realize how difficult it is to be in a reading slump. So taking things easy this week and the first book I'm reading is Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. This is thankfully in my January TBR as well. Actually no, I read two books, never mind, because When in Rome and One Dark Window was in my January TBR and this is the third book that I'm going to be reading from that. I really want to get into this because it follows the same characters as When in Rome. Since I was out of a reading slump, I should pick up a book that I'm pretty familiar with, so that's why I'm picking this up. My first impression of this is that it's not as good as When in Rome. I believe the characters are just not interesting enough for me to want to continue reading on but I'm still gonna give it a chance because I'm only at page 60 of this book and it's a really short book it's I think only 300 pages so I should be flying through it and hopefully I can get this done I started reading this yesterday so I am hoping to get this done today but I'm not quite too sure if that's gonna happen or not I'm gonna dedicate my whole day today to reading it's been a really difficult week and hopefully I can get things started again with this book and I am starting off a little bit late I'm starting on a Wednesday but we'll just continue on until the next Tuesday anyway next week on Wednesday I am leaving to go on a trip I also just recently got a new TBR cart so I really want to get a lot of my physical TBR books read because that cart is completely full. If you guys have watched a lot of my older TBR videos, you'll know that I have a really, really tiny TBR cart and I recently upgraded to a bigger one because that TBR cart was just not working. So I recently upgraded and even that cart is completely full. I also know that next week when I go on the trip, I'm gonna be buying more books from that trip. I need to get this done as soon as possible. I need to get a lot of the physical TBR books read for sure. So excited to be doing this i have been in a rut and i feel like with a reading vlog i tend to want to read more so here you go you guys are going to be motivating me to actually read some books i am going to go now i'm going to continue on reading this and even though it seems like it's really dark it's actually only 1 p.m but it's raining outside so it's such a good weather to read so i'm gonna do that and i will catch up with you guys when i have more updates on this book update on practice makes perfect i'm still on the book i'm not finished reading this yet i'm at chapter 29 this is page 239 and i'm going to go to bed because it's currently really late and i feel like i need to go to sleep story plot wise i do feel like this book is not as good as when in rome there's just something with the characters that i'm not vibing with like both characters i just feel like i'm not really into who they are as individuals. I feel like something's missing with their romance too. I don't really feel that much chemistry right now at this current moment. Don't really know how to feel about it. I'm probably gonna finish this tomorrow, which is great. And I'm so happy that I actually read a lot today. I have less than 100 pages to go. I'm just really happy that I ended up reading a lot today. So that to me is already a win. I'm gonna go to sleep now. I will let you guys know if I end up finishing this book tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning. Hi, it's the next day and I did end up finishing Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. I finished this this morning. I left to go out for lunch and then now I am back again and I just want to talk quickly about this book and my thoughts about it because I do have some thoughts. I do feel like I don't really resonate with the characters that much and I felt like there was just a factor about the characters I'm not really interested in understanding about them. I don't really know why. There are some parts of this book that really icks me out. First of all is that Annie's character felt very pick me. 
I don't really know why. Very bubbly, very sunny type of girl who actually has some dark thoughts in her, has a fiery personality. And you get introduced to her in this book as somebody who's very awkward and doesn't know how to date people. But then when you read this book, you just realize that she's actually not that type of person. It only felt like she was an awkward person in the first date, in like the first chapter. And that was it. Feels like any normal person who can socialize pretty well. So I don't understand why she's being portrayed in that sense as for will he's that basic playboy who sleeps around with everyone because he has um, trauma from his childhood because of his parents and i just felt like his personality was very very annoying to see especially with him going back and forth with his feelings for annie and constantly mentioning his trauma from his parents and how he doesn't think he can love somebody i just felt like all of that didn't need to be explained and repeated constantly in this book like i know his parents is that i have a good relationship i don't know what i'm gonna read this i felt like the writing was okay it just felt like the characters weren't likable and it just didn't hit me in a sense where i didn't want to know about the characters i didn't care much about them i'm gonna pick up another book now because i'm actually in the mood to read and i do have time to read today so i'm gonna do that i do want to read another romance i have a few fantasy in my tbr but i do want to read another romance and the only romance i have in my january tbr is you with a view i actually have one more book i forgot it's i'll always be with you by monica murphy but i don't really want to read that book right now i think i'm going to pick some up instead also if you guys don't know what this book is about you follow noelle shepherd who is the fmc her grandmother recently passed away and she found these letters that were from her grandma's old lover and then she goes on a hunt to find her grandma's old lovers through these letters letters and she realizes that it's actually her friend's grandfather she really wants to go on her grandma's little like elopement trip her grandma and his grandfather are about to elope to get married but they ended up not really following through it and decided not to actually be together but then she ends up going with the mmc and his grandfather and then they go on this little road trip that's kind of the whole story of this and i think it's going to be fun it's adult romance there's some spice in this i'm pretty sure i've never really heard anyone talk about this before hopefully this will be a good read and considering how I am still a little bit slumpy, I'm hoping that this will slowly help me get out of my reading slump. I am back because I want to give a little quick first impressions update before I actually stay in bed and read for the night. But I have read up until page 34. This is chapter 4. And I really like this so far. I am having such a good time. I love the writing. I love the plot and where it's going. And I think the romance is going to be super cute. FMC here is an adult. She's 28 and she really truly acts like she's 28 because I feel like with practice makes perfect Annie was 30 and she doesn't act like she's 30 so I'm really glad to see that the adult is acting like an adult right now I'm having good vibes and I'm actually in the mood to read because of this book the intro which is really good so I'm having a lot of fun I'm gonna jump right in I'm so excited on my face and if you guys can hear snoring my dog is literally sleeping behind me so i did not give an update at all today i don't think i filmed anything i had to go run some errands and i had golf in the evening and now i finally had time to sit down and actually read this book i don't know why but i've been feeling slumpy in general i just feel unmotivated don't really want to do anything i think overwhelmed by a lot of things but it feels like i do not have time to even sit down and relax and read i really really like the high school rivals to lovers trope in this book i really enjoy their banter and that they have a past together and it's just really fun to read about that i also really like the side plots of them going on this journey i know however some people will be annoyed by this but there are a lot of mentions of tiktok the chemistry is not sizzling as much as i would expect it to be but their banter especially when they're like fighting each other is really really good i'm gonna continue reading this tomorrow i have a full day i'm going out of town to meet some people so i'm not gonna be home at all tomorrow i don't know if i'll be able to read hopefully i'll get some reading done but i probably won't i am aiming to get this done by sunday because today is friday and i'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow but if not i'll see you guys on sunday <laughs> First off, not looking the best. I apologize. Elephant in the room is that today is actually a Monday and I did not film anything. I'm pretty sure I didn't film anything in the weekend. Right now, I am planning for the week and I am 
swamped you guys i have so many meetings and so many events and i'm at this point where i don't know if i want to read or if i want to edit my video i haven't been consistently uploading and it's because i haven't had any motivation to edit my video right now i do have two videos that are actually ready to be edited and uploaded i'm just feeling really 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 burnt out really overwhelmed i haven't been wanting to pick a book up i think i have yet to come back from my reading slump i guess that's why i'm feeling this way but it's really really weird obviously it's frustrating because i make book videos but i'm just gonna take things slow and i haven't been wanting to pick up you with a view at all it has come to the point of the story where the couple is finally together there's still like a hundred plus pages left of the book and i don't understand what those hundred pages are for this reading vlog is going to end tomorrow because i am leaving tomorrow i am probably not gonna pick up any other book this is probably going to be a two book reading vlog which is so weird i usually do three books that is that and my reading vlogs do not have to be perfect and i just feel like sometimes i put too much pressure on myself to actually have to read a lot of books in my reading vlogs right now i need to quickly finish planning and then i'm gonna edit my video and we'll see what i do after that i'll update you guys if I do end up picking my book up. I ended up finishing this book, which I'm very, very happy to say and very proud of because I thought I wouldn't be able to finish this, but I did. I did mention a few times in this vlog that I did like the story and where it was going, the progress of the story as it went on. But by the time it hit page 250, things started to look a little bit not so great. The part that really threw me off was definitely the third act conflict. And if you guys know, Third act conflicts are probably my worst enemy in books. I feel like no no one really does third act conflicts really well. I felt like the conflict was uncalled for and their reactions were very weird. I didn't feel like there was any meaning to their fight. And I also really didn't like how a lot of the things that happened in here was based on a lie. That's the part that really threw me off by the end of it is that there are so many hidden secrets and lies in this. Yeah, I kind of cannot put my head around it. And so I didn't have the best time reading the last few pages. Anything that has to do with Theo and the FMC's relationship kind of felt a little bit cringe. I technically am going to be ending this vlog tomorrow, so I do have time to pick up a book now. If we pick up a book from my January TBR, it'll be... What is in my January TBR? I don't remember all of a sudden. I'll let you guys know if I end up picking a book. I will see you guys in the morning.